Right, morning guys, it's uh, Mick from uh, Beanham Homebrew here again. Uh, yeah, Sunday, a little bit of a late start uh, again, messing around, moving stuff about. Um, but yeah, the um, quick update, the brew I'm going to be doing today is a, a Baltic Porter. Uh, takes about 12 weeks plus, so I'm a little bit late for that, so it'll be sort of ready, I suppose, in the new year. Uh, Hang on, sorry about that. that uh, the other couple, uh, four, I want to do. I've got a winter warm I want to do, uh, a Christmas ale, and uh, a black IPA. Um, obviously, the, the black IPA is more for sort of the, the summertime, I suppose. But yeah, um, I chose to do the Baltic Porter first because obviously it takes so long for its conditioning time, um, and uh, it's got quite a big, hefty grain bill um, it's got I think Munich malt is that yeah sorry about the spelling but I think yeah Munich malt seven kilos amber malt only 300 grams uh, oh, don't even know how to bloody pronounce that one um, cafe special free yeah um, 286 this biscuit malt, another one I can't spell, I do apologise. Um, 100 grams of that, chocolate malt, 300 grams of that, uh, and then basically the hops are 74 grams. Can you see that? Don't even know how to spell that. It has that. Oh, hold on, I'm not even going to attempt that. So it's got 74 grams of that, a starter boil. 15 grams for the last 15 minutes of the boil um, and that's it um, so another thing I'm going to be using uh, which I've never used before because I always use the uh, dried yeast is uh, I'll pick this one up and apparently it's uh, I think it's 2633 Oktoberfest lager blend uh, yeah lager blend so uh, I've never used that before apparently it's quite self explanatory you sort of smack it there's something in the middle I think or something in there capsule or something we smack that and shake it about it expands fire it in so yeah we'll uh, and obviously going to be using the fermentation fridge for the first time as well to see how that works out so yeah that's it that's basically what I'm going to be doing today is the Baltic Porter uh, I've just I've just pre-warmed the ton I'm just going to get everything chucked in there and get it mashed in so I'll uh, I'll be back shortly <coughs> right guys uh, me again yeah all uh, all mashed in now and uh, in in the in the ton there um, it's quite a lot of grain bill actually um, as I say um, before you guys start getting worried I haven't just made this up um, I've got this bought for me uh, and it's uh, a recipe out of Oh, you see that recipe out of that, that book on page 175 yeah uh, as I said I think in the fermentation fridge side I was away for three weeks working and obviously got to know the guys and that down there and uh, chatting away obviously got to have the odd beer or two but mainly working and uh, yeah <laughs> they kindly bought me that which I thought was king fantastic so um, I said to them I'll definitely do some recipes out of there I've had a good old read of it obviously and look through and this is where I've picked those four recipes out of so yeah this um, sorry I'm showing you the wrong page there uh, yeah this um, is page 171 I do apologize the wind's bloody blowing a gale yeah the Baltic Porter so that's the that's the that's the brain bill be easier than me and uh, obviously I suppose loads of people have got this sort of book so uh, yeah I'm not confident enough to make me own at, at the moment but well yeah we'll give this a whirl and I've said I'll post some down to them but yeah I was um, over the bloody moon about that so uh, yeah that's brilliant so that's the, the, the first one I'm doing out of that as I say the four that I've picked they're all in this book and it says basically gives you everything in there I suppose um, it's going to tell you what it is it takes 12 weeks, it's estimated at 8.2 that have come out, ABV, um, IBU 30.2, 
EBC 56.3 um, so yeah the IBU is the bitterness because it says that on there and obviously the 56.3 is the colouring so yeah that, uh, it said leave that in there for an hour so yeah I've left that in the hour the old stopwatch is going uh, and then I'll come back and as I say it's only got the two hop editions which are um, the, the ones I showed you uh, I'd better go and ask my partner see what the bloody hell that says so uh, apologies for that like I said to you I'm not fantastic on the old reading front but there we go um, yeah so uh, waffling again and I look I'm out waffle so yeah I'll, uh, I'll come back when we're uh, ready to sparge I don't know whether I'm gonna bother using the sparge arm and that I might just jug it in the top but let it go through it says to let it run for about 40 minutes so I usually aim for about an hour 40 minutes to an hour I suppose the longer just the better I don't know again I'm new to this but yeah it'd be nice to know what this sort of tastes like and we'll get on to the next one so see you in an hour lads right guys uh, that's the um, uh, mash tun I'm just sparging or I think batch sparging I've just filled the uh, tun up with the uh, with the water, so I'm just letting the head of the water slowly uh, filter it through. Um, one thing I didn't do, because I, I forgot, I didn't put the DWB or the DLS, whatever it is, in there, but I did treat the water before, because I found we've got really hard water, and without it, it's... Oh, I can spend ages trying to clean it out. Um, I should have showed you before we started, I had one there that I tried the other day, just boiled the normal water and there was absolutely loads and loads of hard water in it. When you use that AMS stuff, it seems to get rid of that. Whether it impairs any flavour to it or not, I don't I don't know. So yeah, that's the only bit I didn't put in. So I haven't bothered putting it in now. I'm just gonna leave it out. I might actually brew that one again um, and try it with it. And obviously, hopefully try and save a few bottles and then see if there's a comparison so yeah I'm just letting that uh, run through I'll come back when we start to uh, boil for the first hot break um, as I say I've, I've, it's all measured out uh, ready um, I think it said sazonals oh, I can't I don't know what it said but there we go yeah so uh, yeah hopefully come back soon uh, ready for the boil as for the for the first hop edition cheers for now Right guys, yep, yeah, we've just uh, come to the boil and I've uh, put the first op edition in there already. Um, so yeah, that is, again, I can't pronounce some sort of thing. So yeah, and uh, we'll be back for the second edition, which is in uh, 55 minutes. It's uh, an hour and 10 minutes boil. Bloody sun. So yeah, we'll see you then, mate. Uh, chaps, sorry. Right guys, uh, me again just done the last hop edition the 15 minutes and the old pro flock in there uh, just gonna put the old wart chiller in there and um, yeah then chill it down so um, I forgot about the yeast didn't I, I didn't realize apparently I was supposed to pop it about three hours ago and give it a shake so I have popped it uh, I'll stuck it next to there to try and keep it warm because apparently he said it, it can work it's supposed to swell up so hopefully I ain't done a boo-boo there but might take me another hour or so or two to uh, chill it down. It shouldn't take that long because I've had to cover the boiler up because obviously it's right next to the door. And it's quite a cold day today and the wind blowing in. It's taken an age to uh, come to the boil. So I covered it up and that seemed to uh, help it come to the boil. I don't know why we're so steamy in here. I've got the, I've got the, uh, the stretch on but it's like a Swedish No. Norwegian steam bath, but there we go. Right, yep. Yeah. So I'll come back once I start chucking it in the fermenter. It smells absolutely gorgeous. So see you soon. Hello, go oh, what's going on here? Then hang on. Hello, guys. Uh, can't see the time there. Do apologise. Uh, Mick again. Been a moan brew. Yeah. End of the day. End of the brew. Um, as I say, the one I've done put it up there because hopefully you guys can see that the Baltic Porter so 
I don't know that all went on there, did it? <sighs> yeah. Oh, it's my fault it backs up really front, actually. I don't know. Right. Um, things were going not too bad to start with. Uh, as I, said, I haven't said before, for me, that's brew day number 10. So that's uh, going to be number 10. Sorry about this, silly app. It's bloody cold. Um, yeah, everything went okay in that, in the boil. Shoved it in the fermenter, had a look and thought, ooh, I've only got 20 litres. I'm supposed to end up with 27. Then I remembered, I had a five litre jug left over, covered up over here, that was supposed to go in the boil. It came out the mash tun. So I chucked it straight in the fermenter, and then I thought, oh, balls, have I, um, Done something wrong there because I'd already put the yeast of that in there and I just fired it in there and that brought me up to me uh, well brought me up to 25 litres instead of 20 so uh, yeah if anyone can answer if I now caused a problem added bacteria done anything because I it hadn't been boiled it had basically come out of the mash tun sat in the jug covered up had sheet and everything over it so nothing could get in it and I bloody forgot about it. it sat over there and just I don't know, just forgot about it. It wasn't until I shoved it into the fermenter and realised, bang, I ain't got enough here. And without even thinking, bosh, straight in. So, yeah, if anyone could answer that, I'd be much appreciated. I have stuck it in the fermenter, I have put it in the fermenting fridge. Uh, I don't know. I'm hoping it's going to be all right. A little bit of me thinking, oh, no, just my bloody luck. Well, I don't know. Fingers crossed. But yeah, if anyone could help me with that, I'd be much, much appreciated. Because uh, I'd be a bit of a shit if I've got to chuck it away. Because I'll tell you what, it smelled bloody, it smelled lovely. But yeah, it will be an absolute nightmare. But yeah, I hope everyone else has had a good um, brew or whatever they've been doing. Yeah, thanks for watching. As I said, I, I'll try and comment on a lot of people's. I'm not too good at the commenting thing. But yeah, as I say every week, you guys have freaking brilliant come up with some good recipes good ideas love watching them um and hopefully you guys enjoy watching mine but yeah that's it for um i think i'm not gonna i'm not gonna show you me bottling or anything because I, I've, I've done that uh hopefully next sunday another another uh no i've been told i can't do next sunday so i'm gonna have to try and do it in the week uh, and I'll try and video it as well. If I'm going to do it, I'll just video it at the same time. But I have not decided which one I'm going to do yet. Whether it's going to be the cripple, sorry, whether it's going to be the Christmas ale, or the winter warmer, or the black IPA. I, I, I must probably do the Christmas ale. As I say, it's only out of this book that was kindly bought for me, which I'm over the moon about. That's what's even more annoying. If I if I've stuffed that up, then oh for fuck's sake, I've, I hope I haven't. But yeah, it's only out of this book, as I say, it was kindly bought for me. Uh, the Christmas Ale one, which I've never, I've, 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 not, I've not done it before. Apparently it has cinnamon and star anise and uh, light candy crystal, which I've got. Uh, but it looks like sugar, light candy crystal. So apparently the rumour is that they use it in the Belgian beers and stuff. But um, being... A child that was in the parents were in the forces did come from Belgium. I do keep in contact with a couple of people that are from Belgium and uh, long story sisters born in Belgium and all the rest. Of apparently, I don't know if this is true or not. Anyone might be able to tell me that apparently that they they didn't actually use sugars in there or like that. It was just a form of dextrose or so, which I suppose is a form of sugar. I don't know. Again, I'm new to all this. Is but I got it anyway, because it said about it in the book, and they had it, so I got it. Uh, so yeah, that'd be quite interesting to use something different, as I say. I like star anise, and I like <laughs> cinnamon sticks, especially in your curry, but I've never had it in a beer. So, as I say, that can be, will, will be quite interesting. So yeah, I'm planning on doing that one next week, and then, in the week sometime, and then the winter warmer the week after. So, uh, Thanks for watching. Do, I'm doing Atlas. Bing bong and yeah. Speak to you soon. Cheers guys.